What's up everyone, Fred Nielsen here. This video is going to be an overview of the HTC HD2's Sense UI overview. So, let's get started with this video as I promised. So, the first thing you're going to notice is the start screen. It has the, on the top, it has the notifications like Bluetooth, Internet, 3G, uh, sound and battery life. It has the slider up there, you can slide it to the left or to the right and it starts in the middle. And here we have the time and date. Also the slider here has a little more functionality. If for example you have a new text message or a new email message, all you have to do is tap it, then another slider appears and you can say for example email and this is messages, just slide that and it will directly open to messages. Unfortunately, sometimes that doesn't work, but I think that's because I have a review copy. So, this is the start screen. As you can see, it shows the weather. I'll show you once again. It stops the animation after a little while. And here it is again. Now, it's a clear sky, so it comes bright, even though it's pretty dark since it's night here. So, it, uh, it shows you where I am. It shows you how the weather It's clear. The time with actually a really cool clock. Then you have the start link where you can go here to the start menu. Then you have the notifications again, your service provider, your uh, nearest calendar, um, as called events or appointments. And down here we have some favorite programs, uh, contacts, and bookmarks. Bookmarks from your browser and contacts. Let's go ahead and make one. <coughs> Let's call new contact. Now this is a really powerful service as the, these contacts can be used in quite a lot, there are quite a lot of stuff that can be added to them. Their name, their mobile number, their email, their group, ringtone, company, title, home address, office address, birthday, link, for example, so it's Facebook account and you can probably also add a Twitter account. And I'll just go ahead and go to the start screen now. Or what? No. No, it did not work. I just thought maybe it had a. It w I could be showing you the notification button. So let's go back to home and let's slide up. So you can slide up and down here in the start screen. I'll show you the different options that can be made right here. So next up is people. You can add the contacts and um, the. <coughs> pardon me. The contacts you just added, and you can just quickly tap to go to their Facebooks or Twitter or whatever you add. You add it. It's actually a pretty powerful feature. So, actually, this is only a review copy, so the phone might look pretty slow, but actually the final version is n not as slow, actually, to be honest. And uh, basically what, what it works with is you have different screens, and you can slide over to the different menus through this little menu bar on the bottom here. And it slides the more you go down, and you'll see an animation of where you are right now. It's really, really responsive with thanks to the one gigahertz Snapdragon processor. It's nearly as fast as your finger, but yeah, how could it be as fast? That's kind of a problem, or something I wonder about. So here we have the email, the email, which is actually really, really nice. Instead of just normally you just look at an email and then you reply sometimes, so you wouldn't want to go into the menu and then reply. But thanks to HTC Sense, you can just flick through the different emails you've gotten. Which is actually really, really nice. So you can just flick through them this way and tap on them. Whoa, just tap the link there by accident. <laughs> so you can just tap, go through them this way. And then if you want to reply to one, just tap, tap on it and you will be brought to this menu here. And you can tap the links and you can reply to all the senders. Or recipients. So let's go back. And also these buttons here, that's maybe something important to mention. Uh, this is the call button, so if you press on that, you'll be brought to call. And if you press the, this is the home button, the, uh, uh, <laughs> the home button, so you'll always be brought back to home. You can be in Twitter, for example, then home. Then there's window and the win start button read. Really. And then there is the back button and the lock and sleep button. Lock, call, end, and etc. Okay, then there's Twitter. Twitter is actually a really, really nice here on the HD2. You can just view your Twitter, your Twitter, uh, the people you're following on Twitter. If you want to write something, just tap here. And because this is the third time I'm actually doing this, uh, filming this video, I'll be tr writing test again, again. 
and the now that I'm here at the keyboard, I'll sh probably be sh I'll should probably show you some of the keyboard functions. Now I'll first tap update and just so you see you can see how it works. And um, in a second, I'll mention the keyboard. I'll just wait for it to upload. And it seems to take a while for some reason. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, it was not sent, but that was because I have <laughs> found out that my Twitter password has been changed, so it wasn't really associated with my Twitter that much. So it's it loaded the followers from the last time. So if you want to add something, just tap here, and you can scroll through your mentions, direct messages, and your followers again. So let's go to music. Music is actually really, really nice. You can it's of course not as good as that of the iPhone and iPod Touch but you can for example slide and then you have all your music right here so I have uh, quite a lot of Green Day and some Killers music in, on here and maybe one Coldplay as well and this music you get with it or these two so for example if you want to view an album I'll just go here on the Green Day album you can just tap and it will quickly go through to that album it's not as fast as more show off than on the that on of other devices like the iPhone and iPod touch but if you want to view, view the songs you can just quickly flick through them so if I want this to play and the speakers are really really loud you can change the speakers like this and you can just go back and you can actually listen to music in the background so next up is um, the so the music quality is actually really nice and the headphones as well are really really good I'll just quickly say see if I have them with me which I actually doubt I have and I have them right here so the headphones are pretty nice they uh, they're pretty long and they can be used to call I wouldn't say that the call quality is near as good as that of the HD2 in general like holding this up to your ear it is really really good it um I mean usually it's really good but this is kind of I don't know mobile phone uh, however if you just use the HD2 it kind of sounds like a land phone the headphones are amazing and I think that these options or these buttons here are pretty helpful however I had some t times where some where suddenly it would, the song would just pause for about five seconds and then start playing again which I found to be really really bad if you're a really if you're a music enthusiast like me and just a quick cover, as you can see right there, it is a fingerprint magnet. This, well, you can get fingerprints so easily on this, even though you've just washed your hands. Next up is text messages. It's really simple. It's kind of like email. You just flick through, and yeah, that's pretty much it has a nice really smooth interface so this is the opera browser you can just quick launch brow launch browser and it's going to launch your la previously loaded session so I'll just quickly go through how the web browser works so it basically loads your previous session it isn't as fast to load as that of Safari and other browsers but it is really really fast and the combination between a huge screen and the whole screen as real estate however as that of the iPod touch I'll just quickly show you. It has here it it has these buttons right here and on top it has this bar uh, with the status and it also has the URL bar. However, on the HD2 to access that you have to press this button or touch this button and then you can go through different options like bookmark, um, tabs, address bar, refresh, home. Uh, you have like settings, download page info, history, save pages, etc. And actually, the the browsing experience is far better than that of, of the iPhone and iPod Touch. I think it is big and really is really really big, and the loading speed is incredibly fast. However, not as fast as that of the iPhone. So I'll just show you something that I'm actually I read quite a lot on the internet, and this is something that I found to find to be really really good to read online. So I'll just load a text site that has been launched by a fellow YouTuber uh, Techno Buffalo Oh yeah and I forgot to mention the keyboard to be honest 
Now the keyboard actually has some vibration, I don't think you can hear it, but it has some vibration after you type, which is actually really, really nice. And the keyboard is huge and so is the screen, which makes it really, really good. If you want to access, for example, punctuation really fast, all you have to do is, for example, take the 1 or the Q and then 1. It is much easier than on the iPod Touch where you have to quit through symbols and all that. So I'll launch technobuffalo.com and as you can see it loaded incredibly fast and it's actually nearly done. You have this bar right here and when the bar or the option bars here disappear that means the site has loaded. So you can already go through and view the different pages and actually scroll through the site. What's missing is for example this image right here and this image right here. And it's, it's actually done, it just didn't load them for some reason, but that's about it. I'll just load this newest article, and you can just tap to zoom in, and you can also pinch to zoom. So there's no really big difference, except for only there isn't anything worse than that of the iPhone. So, as you can see, these paragraphs have quite a huge lines. So if, if I zoomed in, the lines would go way out of hand, and I would go to have to scroll through all the time which I don't really find really good so they actually did something about it and let's zoom in here now they re-paragraphed it and put it on so you can just read it like this which is actually really really good and saves you a lot of time and ease so I think that is actually something really great so the browser overall is far superior to anything I've ever tried or heard of uh, next up is the calendar which is I mean, very simple. You have here, um, you can go to month view if you want, press here. Then to add a new appointment, just tap. You can see the appointments of that day. And you can type the title, we'll say um, New Year's. And it actually has some feedback here, so let's type in, I don't know. Jesus. Jesus, what's that? <laughs> Alright, so I'll just type in New Year's, and as you can see, it has some um, corrections here. Ye years, tears, here's heats. Actually, really, really useful. And sometimes it can be a little annoying if you're typing in another language, as I usually do. And I'll just type in location, and this is something really useful. I'll just type in home, and that's about it. Now, it has a lot of functions like... Uh, repeat or it has alarms the time and all that it's actually a very powerful calendar app so here we have new year's and it actually also so shows you the weather forecast for that day unfortunately new year's is quite a long time from now the stocks is pretty much pretty simple it stocks it loads every time you launch it just loaded as you can see to add a new stock and update by pressing here and you can add a new or rearrange them. So I'll just rearrange Google to be behind HTC and then I'll put Google on top again. Next up is photos and videos and photos and videos are actually something really, really great. There is so much good about this on the HD2. If you want to scroll through photos you can just use this kinda of like the email and SMS. I'll just quickly go back. Just flick through like this. Ah. That's because I'm looking at the camera usually is much more responsive. And the screen, I should say, is nearly as responsive as that of the iPhone. And by that, I mean um, it uh, has a call. But I just really lightly touch the screen for it to, uh, re to know that you're touching it. It's also the first phone, w Windows mobile phone, to use a capacitive touchscreen. Okay, so if you want to, for example, you can also go in landscape mode. And there it's easier. You can see different images and you will just quickly go here there and we will go back to that girl so the image quality on this is completely amazing especially with this photo it kind of looks like there's a physical photo beneath this screen which is actually absolutely amazing um, if you've been in the shops you've probably seen a GPS or something like that with an image behind the glass and I find that amazing how well this looks it is by far the best screen or uh, photo I've ever seen um, on the mobile device. So unfortunately you cannot rotate it for it to just rotate to portrait mode again unfortunately and you have to do this uh, okay 
So also the it has a video camera and a stand or stand camera and both video camera and the still camera have as you can see tap to focus. So I have here, I'll just zoom in on the lamp and I will just quickly take I don't know the iPod touch and I'll just quickly zoom in on that. I want it to focus on the iPod touch and not on the lamp. And there it does. There's more focus on the lamp now than on the iPod Touch, which actually makes it look really nice. It also has a blitz, as you can probably see in a second. Here it has blitz. You can probably see it. I'll just turn off the light for a second. And there you go. The blitz is actually really, really powerful. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a really, really good camera, if you ask me. Next up is weather. And this phone has quite a lot of focus on weather, which is really, really nice. So it has the a place we are in and the uh, for weather forecast. Footprints, that plays basically for photos with geotag um, so that you can know where you've actually been and it'll automatically make photo albums with it. Next up is settings and that's pretty much it. Personalize, you can change the home tab wallpaper. I like it to be this standard black one. In the, in the day it looks very nice. You can have an animated wallpaper if you like. You can have um, the uh, lock screen wallpaper. Um, no. Back. Uh, font, home screen tabs, uh, vibration. I think the vibration feedback is some one of the HD2 strong points. So it also has some wireless controls, applications, SD card, phone storage, all about that. Pretty advanced stuff, some of it. And yeah, that's pretty much the software tool. I'll just quickly go through some of the other software it has. Also, the scrolling on the HD2 is pretty nice if it wasn't because I'll just quickly flick through with all my power. And usually if it was on the iPhone, for example, it'll go all the way down. And then it'll show something like this at the end. So let's go like this. It will not go beneath... It'll, it's go always going to stop with Windows Marketplace in the middle, you know. It's going, it won't go longer than that, which I think is actually a downer. So the Windows Marketplace is kind of like the App Store on Windows Mobile. It does not have many apps. It has four utilities, 11 games, or that's maybe just in my country, but that's really not a lot. Office Mobile, you have Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and Word. Just quickly access them, and you can type in something. Let's type in, this is a test of the keyboard. And I got, this is a test of the uh, full stop keyboard. Let's try this in landscape mode, and the keyboard is actually really good there too. I don't know if where it works in landscape, but it doesn't seem that it does. And you've probably noticed that this button opens the the keyboard and closes it down again. So that was pretty much it for the software overview of the HTC HD2. It has overall a really nice software and I would definitely recommend you check it out in a store or something like that. Unfortunately, this phone is not available in the US yet. So thank you very much for watching. This was Fred Nielsen. Please comment, rate, subscribe and especially Follow me on Twitter, that's twitter.com slash fredneilson. I'll be making all my updates, what's going on in life, what's going to happen with my videos, if I'm going to stay in tutorials or tech, and, um, well, yeah, I'll just quickly do an announcement on that, actually. Um, I'm probably going to do tech videos like this once in a while, but I'm mainly going to do tutorials, so for all you tutorials fans, that's going to be happy. Or I might actually go ahead and focus on a tech channel, which might be a downer, but I don't think I'll do that. I think I'll stick with this channel because it's very dear to me. So thank you very much for watching, and once again, please follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Nielsen. And once again, thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.